Hello, I'm George Akel and welcome back to the Governor HR YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking on a very emotional topic, performance management. Now, ask yourself, is your performance management process just a poor performance? Or is it more than that? Well, only you really know. Now, recently I was having a coffee with a colleague and uh, we are having a chat about life and what's going on and what's happening and he uh, mentioned that he was going through his performance management uh, at work. It was the year end and, and everyone was uh, rock and rolling with their performance management process. So, um, he had a bit of a bit of a chuckle and, and uh, then let, let out that uh, uh, his manager, now obviously his organization has a uh, system, computer system that manages the performance management process and he said that uh, his manager had actually called him and asked him to click the box that says I've had a discussion with my manager. Now clearly they hadn't had the discussion. Um, what worried me was uh, my colleague uh, wasn't really concerned about it and, and I asked him and he said well you know that's how it happens every year it's it's more about uh, uh, covering covering yourself and uh, getting it done and otherwise uh, HR will harass you and, and chase you down and they're, they're looking more for completion rather than quality and, and I looked at him again and what worried me even more than this was, was that my colleague actually works in HR. So he's an HR guy and he's HR manager who are uh, aiding and abetting the, uh, the destruction of a, of a performance management process. Now, it, it's a real concern and I'm sure there are many out there who have uh, tremendous performance management processes in place and, and, and that work and work well. but. I feel for every everyone out there that's doing it pretty well, there, there may be three or four that are doing a, a pretty, you know, rubbish job at the whole process. Now, uh, recently we've uh, had a review of a performance management process uh, for an organisation and uh, what we found was, uh, we, we really expected it from just the, 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 the background that we'd received already in the discussions that we'd had, uh, we found that it was really a, a box ticking exercise. People were, were keen to get the performance management process kicked off, and get it moving, get it completed and uh, put it away for another year. Now, performance management really is, is a lifelong process. Lifelong, I mean lifelong while you're in that organisation. Right? You expect that organization to manage your performance on an ongoing basis. It's not just a snapshot in time. Uh, unfortunately though, you know, this wasn't the case. This was a, you know, finish it, close it off and move on to the next year. We also found that the objective setting processes uh, meandered along throughout the year. So some people were actually uh, completing their objectives in uh, recorded in the system uh, four, five, six months into the year. So how could you have objectives that can be measured halfway through the year? It's it's the year's already completed nearly, right? So that uh, you've got to look at that and got to look at that in a much more uh, professional manner. I mean, this is clearly not a professional way to manage it now. To be fair to the organisation, you know, things move on, uh, there are a lot of things happening, uh, performance management hasn't received the, um, the, the, uh, the attention that it deserves by, by management. Now, that may be the case, but you've got to also look at the responsibility of HR. HR has a significant responsibility in managing this, in pushing this as an agenda item. Now, you've got to then look at it and say, well, you know, there are a couple of reasons why people don't pay a great deal of attention to their performance management process. Now, one, it's, it's either too complex, and, and you see this sometimes with organizations that have such a convoluted performance management process, they even need to have learning sessions on it. So people need to be taught how to 
conduct a performance management process. I mean, really, these are managers. So uh, that worries, worries me greatly. The, the other is where uh, people just feel that it's, there's no faith in the process. Oh, what happens? I put my information in there. They review it. They have a chat about it. It's ignored. Uh, no one really considers it. Uh, my promotion prospects are already preordained. My compensation is already pre-decided. There is no real benefit in, in doing this. Now, when, when you look at a, a broken performance management system or process, you, you're really looking at a serious illness that the organization has and that could lead to uh, many, many other uh, long-term problems down the track. Now, you couldn't possibly offer staff uh, the opportunity to succeed if you're not managing their performance uh, in a mature and professional, uh, methodical manner right, on an ongoing basis. Uh, likewise, how can you have a succession planning uh, process in place if your performance and management process is broken or doesn't work. Now, the other, the other ways to measure the performance management or the performance of the performance management process is to have a look at a couple of data points. Now, you finish the year end, you finish your uh, performance management process, measure these data points. Measure the correlation between the outputs of your performance management uh, results with compensation decisions. Is there a correlation there? Right? Have objectives been set? Have they been met? Have they not been met? And how that translates into compensation outcomes. How does that measure up and correlate with promotion outcomes? How does it measure up and, and and uh, link and correlate with severance decisions. Now, quite often you'll find that uh, rather than having a difficult conversation, uh, an organization will pay exit uh, fees, in a sense, uh, expediting someone's exit by simply making a decision to restructure them. Now, that destroys value for the shareholder that destroys value for the organization. It's demoralizing for people around the decision. And it also uh, should spike the, uh, the antennas of, of regulators because quite frankly, if you're exiting people, poor performers, by paying them significant sums of money, then there is a, there's a bigger problem within the organization there. So, these are important data points. These are important points to review and look at the correlation between the performance uh, outcomes and the decisions made in this. Now, if you have a poor performer and you have the appropriate process in place with performance management, you'll easily be able to exit this person or develop them, work on a development strategy, move them into a role that better fits, so you're fair to them, you're fair to the organization. Likewise, it's a good way to be able to differentiate between the high performers and the not so high performers. Now you may have a team of uh, very good performers, but some are going to be carrying the load more than others. Some you're going to be looking for uh, to take out succession roles and, and, and move to the next step. Now, without the appropriate performance management process in place. It's a joke. Nothing works. Now, an HR system or an HR function that has poor performance management uh, or is incapable of managing a performance management process across an organization, unable to sell it as a key, uh, a key trigger and a key pillar for the success of the organization, really isn't much of an HR function. Now, uh, at GovNHR, we've had extensive experience across the entire Asia-Pacific region in managing performance management processes 
We've looked at management performance processes. We've looked at designing and redesigning of management pro performance processes. We've managed the data outputs, the analytics, uh, the correlation between the data points that I've alluded to earlier. So if you're looking for some support, if you've got a question, if you think there may be some areas of your performance management system that can be tweaked, can be improved, and let's face it, everything can be improved, right? Give us a call, drop us a line, uh, and we'll be more than happy to, to at least have a discussion about it and see if we can help you any further. Now, uh, as we usually say, please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel because that's the, the best way to get the updates as soon as they're, they're published. Uh, click like down there if you've enjoyed this, uh, this presentation, and please visit our website drop us a line. We're really keen to hear from you out there uh, as to any other topics you'd like covered, issues you'd like addressed, or maybe if you'd like to uh, appear um, in an interview, uh, we're happy to have that discussion as well. Thank you very much. Have a great week ahead, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.